Alright, let's solve problem F17-15. The 20 kilogram wheel has a radius of degradation about the center O of 300 millimeters. Uh, the wheel has subject to a couple of moment as it rolls. So there's a moment driving it this way, making it to roll forward. Uh, it slips. So it's sliding. Uh, spinning out. Determine the angular acceleration of the wheel and the acceleration of the wheel center. O. The kinetic friction between the the coefficient kinetic friction between the wheel and the plane is 0.5. Now, if you buy a diagram here, we have mg down. That's hard to see. Normal back up, and we got friction, which is going this way because it's rolling this way, so it's pushing it forward. We're using all the friction because it's slipping. So the force of friction is equal to the normal times mu. In this case, since the normal in mg are the only things in the vertical direction, the normal will clearly be equal to mg. So mg mu is uh, the force of friction, which is 20 times 9.81 times 0.5 which is equal to 98.1 newtons. Now to find uh, the rotational acceleration, obviously we're going to need I, so let's find I because they give us K for some reason. So I is equal to M K squared, which is equal to 20 times 0.3 squared equals 1.8. Summing the forces in the x direction to get the acceleration uh, of the weight at wheel center, all we have is the force of friction going forward. There are no other forces in the x direction. So 98.1 is equal to ma. m is 20, therefore a is. 4.9. And finally, the moment. If we sum the moments about the center, we have the force of friction causing a moment about the center, so that's causing a positive rotation. So 98.1 times the radius, 0.4. We got the uh, moment of 100, that's going to be negative direction and that's going to be equal to I alpha. So that's 60.76 equals I 1.8 times alpha and alpha is equal to 33.8 radians per second squared.